All right, so in this video, as it says in the title, we're going to be doing a exercise for learning how to do scapular protraction and retraction. So that's movement of our shoulder blades as they're moving back and forth around our rib cage. The purpose is to be able to create conscious, intentional strengthening and engagement in our rhomboid muscles when we're pulling them back into retraction and our subscapularis and serratus anterior muscles to push forward and internal into protraction. This is gonna help with a lot of the back strengthening and help with a lot of honestly different exercises such as doing planks, doing a lot of different yoga movements, push-ups, anything that just needs a lot of strong shoulder engagement. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself into a tabletop position. And if you have not already done so, I recommend doing a forearm warm up. If, I, if you need it, I have a video, depending on who's watching this, you might have already received the link to this, but I really recommend do the forearm strengthening and warm up because the exercise really would require and be a lot more beneficial when your forearms are active because they are part of the entire system, right? It's all one big line, one big domino effect. So if you're here, if your forearms are already warm and activated, great. So you're here, you're in your tabletop position. And what you're gonna think about, this is not like cat and cow. So cat and cow is when you're getting that full flexion of the entire spine from the top of your head down to your tabletop and back again, all through extension, and every part of my spine is moving through that. This is not the case for this exercise. In this case, my spine in the neck is staying in a neutral position. It's staying right here. From the ribs down to the tailbone, neutral position. I'm not letting it relax into an arch position. I'm not over contracting my core and letting it bend up. It is staying flat and neutral, just like a tabletop. The only part that's moving in this is you're going to think about the shoulder blades moving. I'm not even thinking about the mid spine moving. All I'm visualizing is that my shoulder blades are moving around my ribs like a ball, like a sphere, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with that retraction when they're being pulled together. If you've ever done exercises like uh, rows, that's the muscle that you're thinking of now. So you're thinking about those two bones are being squeezed and pulled together. So when you're doing it in your tabletop position, it looks like this. I'm in neutral, my core's engaged, and I'm pulling my shoulder blades together and they're squeezing together as hard as I can. Like my back, upper back is shaking a little bit right now. That's how hard I'm squeezing. And now to do protraction when the shoulder blades are moving around and forward, this is the part where you really want to dig down into the ground and push the ground away from you. So now we protract, so shoulder blades are moving forward. I'm pushing the ground away from me. And if I keep pushing, if I keep pushing so hard through my hands, so you can see my knee, my legs literally lift off the ground. That's how hard I'm pushing through. You don't have to push that hard. That's not part of the exercise, but I'm just showing you as an example of how hard you can push. So let's do it again, okay? So let the shoulder blades fall back. They're being pulled together, pulled towards the spine. And as you exhale, breathe out, push them away, push the ground away from you. I'm pushing through the palm of my hands. The only part that's really arching is that upper back just because the shoulder blades are being pushed forward. Okay, again, retract together. And push away. So hopefully you feel this as well. I'm feeling a lot of warm up happening under my armpits right now when I'm doing protraction. And then when I'm retracting, I feel a lot of the contracting and warmth beginning up in my upper back right there right between my shoulder blades. So hopefully you'll be feeling it too. If you're not feeling it, work harder. 10 rounds of that. 
All right. So take a moment, shake out the wrist if you need to, especially if you're not used to that. You're gonna protect your wrist a lot more if the joints are stacked over each other. So you're not way back here, you're not way forward, but you're directly stacked over the joints. And if you're gripping and grabbing the floor so the joints are supported. The next thing up from that is now you're gonna do a floating tabletop. So this is gonna require a lot more core activation and it's going to help strengthen the movement a lot more. And this is what you can do as a transitional movement before you start trying to do your planks, push-ups, whatever exercise you're doing where you need the shoulder strength, okay? So you're right here, you're in your tabletop, get your toes planted, hover the knees. It's not a lot, it's a couple inches off the ground at most. And now you do the exact same thing all over again. So everything's in neutral, check your tailbone, check your core, check your neck, and let's drop into a retraction as you inhale. Exhale, push it away. Protract the shoulder blades forward. Maintain your core activation. Retract, inhale. Exhale as you protract forward. Honestly, props to the yoga teachers who have to talk for an entire hour while exercising. So I'm done after this video. Protract. I'm gonna do one more round with you. Inhale, retract. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, make it shake. And exhale, protract forward. And let's relax down. Seriously, yoga teachers, they're talking for an hour classes at a time while doing all that. They deserve all the chocolate in the world. What I recommend, do that 10 times, okay? 10 times on the ground, 10 times in a floating tabletop. If you really feel like you're really struggling to find your rhomboids, find that serratus, that punching muscle, do another round of it, okay? The more you do it, especially if you can do a couple rounds of this every single day, that's what's gonna help you find those muscles. Also, doing other exercises, doing a lot of very different exercises that are all meant to target the upper back muscles, the muscles around the rotator cuff, all around the shoulder girdle. As many different types as you can will help you find those muscles and help them strengthen.